We took it out to Thomas Edison Elementary, a great group of kids, and take a look at the fun we had there. This is in the Kenton District. It was an easy commute up there, and they were waiting for us, all ready to make some weather happen. Hayden and his crew filling up the weather balloon. A ton of fun as we learned about what happens when you look for weather. You don't look between your eyes and your toes. Most of it happens between your eyes and the sky, and that's one of the tools that we use. And uh, I believe Jay Lurie was our photographer out there. We gave him a little bit of a baptism by balloon <laughs> out at this particular point. But look at all the smiles. That's what it's all about. Here we go. We sped up time a little bit, and we made this young man disappear in a sea of fog out there. And eventually, he'll reappear <laughs> against the front. And then we put a cloud in the hands of all of our students, talked about all the different varieties of clouds, boiled it down for them so that they can uh, identify what they see in the sky. So uh, a little bit of education in between all the entertainment, and this was entertaining for everybody, and uh, kind of tangle, a tangled hair day, not just a bad hair day, and then it was time to fire up the tornado. We made a nice one there and convinced this little girl that we had a vortex spinning in there and talked about the properties that allow that to happen. And it was time for Nick and Casey to don the goggles and exchange some moderate lightning stuff. There, wait for it. There it goes. A little snap of the fingers, talking about static electricity and the environment and how uh, the clouds become statically charged. At the end, we did a little bit of snow, invited some of the first couple rows up and let the uh, audience determine how much snow fell. And boy, were they an enthusiastic group out there in Kenton. Thank you so much for voting, bringing the weather machine to your school. We're going to fire up the contest again after the holidays. Let's go ahead and look at what we have outside this morning. Here